Bishop spoke from the heart and they spoke the truth. They spoke the truth. I think one teacher, I think was it uh, Mr. Jingan perhaps, and there was another one also who said that uh, your words, your workshop has charged them up for the, the year ahead. Uh, yes, I had that in my mind when I was having lunch that uh, you were just the right person to set us on a road, you know, to set us on a road for the year to start. So I don't have enough words to thank you, sir. And uh, you have to, in, uh, finally, you know, uh, do let me know publicly your secret of this exuberance, this just the jew, this genuine, <coughs> this passion. <coughs> I, 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 we need to learn this, you know. When you're so full of energy and bubbling with it, it, it is infectious. It is infectious. And if anyone is just the opposite, he takes away your energy. There are just two types of people, you know. You meet someone, words are not so important, which language is not so important. There were some who spoke in Hindi. But the emotions get conveyed, gestures, feelings speak louder than voice, always. And uh, the thing was, that that's, that's what's required, I mean, in a teacher, basically. Can you ignite that fire? Is that fire lit in you? If not, why not? You're in the wrong profession then. You've got to have that passion and that fire to light a bloody fire in a stone also. And we got that. I, I do talk. There's nothing new I'm saying. I, I, I bore myself and you all by repeating some words. When I talk in assembly and elsewhere. That we should never doubt the power in us. Never doubt the power in us. The Rab in us, the God in us, the Spirit in us, the Atma, Rab, Ru, Soul, whatever word you want to use. You can do it. You just dip into it and tell yourself, yes, 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 I can do it. You have to have that belief. You have to love yourself. You're talking of love the child. Do you love yourself? If you don't love yourself, forget it. It's all bull then, trying to love a child. If you're not, you have to start with yourself. Be loving, be caring, be fair, be honest, be sincere. Then, even if you don't speak much, even if you speak in Sanskrit, that will be, you'll become a transformational leader. And you can be a transformational teacher, a general, a politician, or whatever. Transformation you'll bring about, revolution you'll bring about, if you can bring it about in your own self first. That's the starting point. And that's why I keep saying, hey man, trigger that fire in yourself. Rekindle that fire. Dip into it in silences sometimes. Talk to that inner voice. It will guide you. And you can set you can set any damn river on flame. We've done it. Our children have done it. Their parents have shown it. They've conquered Mount Everest. You know? So that's what leadership is all about. But we have to have that belief and faith in us. Don't doubt that too much. Don't doubt that too much. Tumhi ho sang. Tumi ho sang tarash. You are the damn stone and you are the sculptor. And you can carve a divine image out of yourself. Tumi ho sang, tumi ho sang tarash. Tumi ho wo bhagwan jo karte hain usme was. Rab is in sab. So I, I, I know I shouldn't get into this spiritual talk too often. But it's essential just to let you know, have belief in yourself, have passion in yourself. And you see, wherever you go, transformation will take place. You create magic. You'll be able to say without any arrogance, Jahan bhi jayenge, roshni lutayenge. Jahan bhi jayenge, roshni lutayenge, kisi chirag ka apna koi maka nahi hota. So something like that, I mean, I'm just I'm digressing, I'm taking too much time, but it's something I've said here before, but I just want to reinforce that belief part which Sir, by his talk, ignited in us. We as teachers have a great role. We have to have belief in ourselves, hope in ourselves, joy in ourselves, positivity in ourselves. Only then we can make a difference. Otherwise, we can't. We can't be negative. We have to be positive. But at the same time, never get arrogant. Never get arrogant. Never get too egoistic. You have a right to think you're good. Don't think the other is a donkey. You know? Whether it's a child or whether it's an adult. And this reminds me of that beautiful conversation. Sir, this was regarding that world war. I think it was the Second World War. The Allied Forces versus the Axis. <coughs> And there was this army general uh, who was differing with Prime Minister Churchill. And Prime Minister Churchill had a particular line of action in mind and this general said, well, sir, I'm the general, I'm the commanding officer of these allied forces. And as a military man, I want to tell you that uh, your course of action is not correct. So the Prime Minister had to tell him that, well, you may be the chief of the allied forces general, but I'm the Prime Minister. And this, you're, you're on my land. This is England, UK. Anyway, that chap said that, sir, uh, it's okay by that logic, yes, I will obey you, but let me tell you, if you insist on me following your command, 
history may not be kind to you. <coughs> history, Prime Minister, may not be kind to you. And then the Prime Minister Churchill had that confidence to just take a drag off his hat and say, General, history has to be kind to me because I've decided to write it. I've decided to write it. So you've got to have that conviction as a teacher, as a human being, that you can make a difference. <coughs> just keep working on yourself, keep improving upon yourself, and uh, that's it. I mean, that's, uh, that's how it will change, take place. But success, whether it is professional teaching or law or business or multinationals or whatever, not at the cost of being a great human being. First of all, we go try and be good, great, nice, humble human beings, loving human beings, fair human beings. When I talk of love and fair and all that, I'm not saying don't be straight. If some child is doing repeated wrong, there are ways to correct it. Don't take a back foot. But have that belief, have that faith, and, and be proud of being a teacher. Be proud of being an Indian. Be proud of the fact that you are alive and you can make a difference. So that's that, sir. I mean, that's what uh, your talk did. That's what your workshop did to me also. I, I wish my wife was here. She would have winked long ago. Push her up, peaks. <laughs> You've gone too far ahead. Thank you very much, sir. It was a joy you were here. I must thank uh, Captain Mohanbir, my friend. He's the one who spoke to me about you. <laughs> yeah. And I told him, I said, listen, uh, we've already got another workshop already slated four months before, a particular lady, and she could get offended if we have to knock her out and get Sina Saab now. But uh, I have belief in him. I have, we, we differ sometimes. We, we, my, uh, you know, we just have friendly vows sometimes. But uh, I have belief in him, faith in his leadership style. So I went along, and I'm so happy I listened to this advice. Uh, we all are blessed. You, you have, yes, charged us up, and uh, I'll just contain myself now. <laughs>